Elon Musk has given a few statements that have led the Tesla founder to face backlash from Taiwan, so what effects will this have on the stock and is TSLA a buy? Sit tight for the next 10 minutes as we analyze everything, but before we do that, subscribe to our channel One Dollar World for regular TSLA stock updates. Elon Musk, the prominent entrepreneur behind companies like Tesla and SpaceX, found himself in hot water once again due to his recent comments on the contentious issue of Taiwan's status in relation to China. During an event at the All In Summit in Los Angeles, Musk asserted that Taiwan was an integral part of China, drawing a swift and stern rebuke from Taiwan's foreign minister, Joseph Wu. Musk, who also owns the social media platform X, formerly known as Twitter, and the Starlink satellite network likened Taiwan's situation to that of Hawaii, suggesting that China views Taiwan as a natural extension of its territory, despite it not being officially recognized as such. He implied that the presence of the U.S. Pacific Fleet in the region has prevented China from pursuing reunification through force. However, Taiwan's foreign minister Joseph Wu wasted no time in responding to Musk's comments. In a post on X, he took a dig at Musk's ownership of the platform, stating that he hoped Musk could convince China to allow its citizens access to X, which is currently blocked in China, along with other Western social media platforms like Facebook. Wu didn't stop there. He drew attention to Musk's decision last year to deny a Ukrainian request to activate his Starlink satellite network in Crimea, Sevastopol, a move seen as obstructing Ukraine's efforts against Russia. Listen up. Taiwan is not part of the PRC and certainly not for sale, Wu exclaimed, using the acronym for the People's Republic of China. He emphasized that Taiwan's democratically elected government vehemently rejects China's sovereignty claims over the island, asserting that only the people of Taiwan have the right to determine their future. This isn't the first time Elon Musk has found himself at odds with Taiwan. In a similar incident in October of the previous year, Musk suggested a solution to the long-standing tensions between China and Taiwan that involved giving some degree of control over Taiwan to Beijing. This proposal sparked a similar backlash from Taiwan and reinforced the island's commitment to its own sovereignty. The issue of Taiwan's status has long been a point of contention between China and Taiwan. China views Taiwan as a renegade province and has pursued a policy of reunification for decades. In contrast, Taiwan operates as a separate and democratic entity, maintaining its own government, military, and foreign relations. The international community is divided on the matter, with some countries recognizing Taiwan as a sovereign state while others adhere to the One China policy, recognizing the People's Republic of China as the legitimate government of both China and Taiwan. Elon Musk's comments, given his high-profile status and influence, add another layer of complexity to an already sensitive issue. They highlight the ongoing challenge of balancing economic interests with political sensitivities in a world where global businesses often find themselves navigating the intricate web of international relations. As tensions between China and Taiwan continue to simmer, Musk's remarks serve as a reminder of the political consequences that can arise when powerful figures weigh in on matters of geopolitical significance. Enjoying the video so far? Be sure to join our Discord community to connect with other like-minded investors. Let's take a look at the Tesla stock in detail. Today, Tesla stock closed at $273.58, marking a significant 10.09% increase in value by the end of the trading day at 4 o'clock p.m. PST. This surge in stock price comes amidst a backdrop of recent volatility in Tesla's stock, but the overall trajectory has been upward. Several factors likely contributed to this notable price increase, including robust earnings reports, positive developments regarding the company's production expansion, and the growing global demand for electric vehicles. With a staggering market capitalization of $860.98 billion, Tesla currently holds the title of the world's most valuable automaker, surpassing the combined market capitalization of industry giants Ford and General Motors by more than tenfold. This exceptional valuation reflects both Tesla's substantial growth potential and its reliance on innovative technologies, factors that contribute to the stock's higher volatility compared to traditional automakers. Investing in Tesla stock presents inherent risks, but it also offers the potential for substantial returns. Prospective investors must carefully weigh these risks and rewards before committing capital to Tesla. Several crucial factors may influence Tesla's stock price in the near future. Firstly, Tesla faces challenges in ramping up production at its new facilities in Austin, Texas, and Berlin. Successfully addressing these challenges could lead to a substantial boost in production and sales. Furthermore, the escalating global demand for electric vehicles presents a significant opportunity for Tesla, considering the company's position as a leading electric vehicle manufacturer. 
However, Tesla must also contend with heightened competition from other major automakers, such as Volkswagen and Ford, who are making substantial investments in electric vehicle research and production. Lastly, Tesla's stock price may be subject to broader fluctuations in the overall stock market, as the market's inherent volatility can influence individual stock movements. Given these dynamics, investors should exercise caution and conduct thorough due diligence when considering investments in Tesla's stock. On the other news, Elon Musk, CEO of Tesla, X, formerly known as Twitter, and SpaceX, has emphasized the need for robust government intervention and regulation in the field of artificial intelligence, or AI. Musk made these comments after attending a gathering in Washington with other tech CEOs to discuss AI-related matters. During this meeting, he suggested the creation of a new government agency, potentially named the Department of AI, to oversee and regulate AI technologies. Musk drew parallels to existing regulatory bodies like the Federal Aviation Administration, or FAA, and the Securities and Exchange Commission, or SEC, which oversee aviation safety and financial markets, respectively. He argued that a similar agency could be established in the near future to ensure that companies in the AI sector take actions that prioritize safety and the interests of the general public. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer also shared his enthusiasm for the need for government involvement in regulating AI after the meeting. He indicated that everyone present, including leaders from various sectors such as business, civil rights, defense, labor, and the arts, supported the idea of government playing a role in AI regulation. Schumer expressed a sense of urgency in addressing this issue, acknowledging that while the process may be challenging, it is essential to act. The meeting included prominent figures from the tech industry, including Mark Zuckerberg, CEO of Meta, formerly Facebook, and leaders from Microsoft, Google, NVIDIA, IBM, and OpenAI. OpenAI CEO Sam Altman described the gathering as an unprecedented moment, highlighting the significance of these discussions among influential stakeholders in the AI landscape. The call for increased government involvement in AI regulation reflects growing concerns about the potential risks and ethical implications associated with rapidly advancing AI technologies as AI continues to evolve and permeate various aspects of society. Discussions about appropriate regulatory frameworks and oversight mechanisms are becoming increasingly vital to ensure that AI benefits are maximized while minimizing potential harms. The recent gathering of technology leaders in Washington, including prominent figures like Elon Musk and Mark Zuckerberg, served as an initial step in addressing the complexities of regulating artificial intelligence. These discussions explored a spectrum of options, ranging from regulating AI as a distinct entity, as Elon Musk alluded to, to adopting more incremental approaches that entrust different aspects of AI oversight to existing agencies such as the Federal Trade Commission. Opinions within the business and tech community diverge on the most appropriate regulatory framework. While some argue for a new standalone department dedicated to AI regulation, others caution against such a move, citing the wide-ranging applications of AI across various sectors. Mark McCarthy of the Brookings Institution, for instance, expressed skepticism about a dedicated Department of Artificial Intelligence, emphasizing that AI's multifaceted nature makes it challenging to regulate within a single entity. OpenAI CEO Sam Altman, who is also present at the gathering, advocates for a balanced regulatory approach. He emphasizes the importance of ensuring safety while simultaneously facilitating access to the benefits of AI technology. The significance of these discussions cannot be overstated. AI regulation has become a focal point in Washington, driven by growing public interest and concerns. With numerous hearings and forums dedicated to AI regulation, policymakers are taking steps to navigate the intricate challenges posed by AI technology. Despite differing viewpoints, this gathering, initiated by Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer, has achieved its primary goal of initiating a crucial conversation about AI regulation. Elon Musk himself acknowledged the potential historical importance of this meeting for the future of human civilization, underscoring the urgency and complexity of addressing AI's implications for society. As AI continues to advance and transform various aspects of our lives, finding the right regulatory balance remains a priority to maximize benefits while mitigating potential risks. Remember that this is not financial advice and you should always do your own research Search and make informed investment decisions. That was all for today. Let us know if you think this stock will make you rich or not in the comments section. Hit like and subscribe to our channel $1 World for more such penny stock videos and we will see you in the next one.